Hey, my people, this is so annoying. This is ugly. This is terrible. My goodness. Hey, I want to speak to some of you who are running. Hey, Tasketa to different, all these strange countries. Oh, there's uh, 1,000 jobs, 1,000, 100,000 jobs open in this country. Hey, 500,000 jobs open in that country. Oh, you can go to school in, in this country. No this, no that, no that. You can just go free. Oh, visa free to this country. Oh, visa free to that country. And you people are running here, Tasketa. You are running to all these places, to all these countries. Be careful which country you run to. Be careful which YouTuber you listen to. I'm telling you, because some of us YouTubers, we just we, we just go out there and bring out one country, one strange country like that and say, hey, you can you can go to this country free, visa free. You don't need this, you don't need that. People have been sending me all kind of videos all kind of visa free to this country visa free to that country and by the time i google i research that country i found out that these people are suffering who uh, people who run there hmm, it's not what many people portray that you know they are going to meet over there be careful i am going to show you a video you are going to see this video now you will see the horrible life People, immigrants who are in Qatar, the horrible life they are living. Please, my people, my African people, if I see any of you leg enter plane to some of these strange, strange countries, they, they, they are posted everywhere. In fact, I will, I will stop that plane. And I, 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 I walk, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it's so annoying. You need to see this video. And please, let's share this video. Let us share it. Let it go viral. Let these people, these wicked employers, let them stop this wickedness. This is so wicked. This is wickedness. My goodness, this is wickedness. Who does this to human being? Please. We know you, you are looking for a job. We know you are looking for greener pasture. If it is after... US, Canada, and some countries in UK, after those three places, I beg, sit in your home in Africa. I beg you. I beg of you. Watch which country you go. Watch which country you go. It's not all the, all the, uh, 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 no exam country no visa country go to this place go to that place in fact please be careful let us be careful my people let's be careful listen to this story and let this video go viral thank you you're going to work outside there the the heat hits you till you feel like you are dying on his arrival ibrahim filmed himself with his new colleagues they were full of hope their employer had promised a salary two to three times higher than they would get in their home country, with accommodation and meals provided. Their first shock was finding out the state of their accommodation. This is the life we are living here in Qatar, Doha. This place is very dirty smelling. The life you are living here is hell. I don't want anyone to know that I'm doing this. In Qatar, publishing negative images of the country is punishable with expulsion. These camps are normally off limits to journalists, but Ibrahim and his fellow workers are so fed up with their living conditions that they've taken the risk to let us in with a camera. The workers cleaned up all they could right from the start, but they still lack basic necessities. See, so come inside, come inside. Some people are sleeping down here. 
In the night, some people sleep down here. Someone do like this. Why like this? The, the company say will provide us bed. The company will provide us food. There's no canteen, no refrigerator. There's not even a dedicated cooking area. And this is how we cook our food here. We're just trying to survive here. This is what we buy now. We don't have any place to go and get some food, you see? This is what we eat. The thing, what, what is happening to us, we are tired now. We are really tired. That's all I can say. Yeah. In addition to their unsanitary living conditions, the workers say they haven't been paid for months. Every day they promise us to give up the salary and not yet giving the salary. Yeah, it's about a year now, not only me, but all my friends. We try to talk to the company, the company say will take us to police. Some of us want to go back to their countries. Some of us want to change companies. The company has taken all our passport. What should we do here? This is slavery, this is kind of prison. This is a, you abusing human rights. This is not fair. This kind of life is not fair. Like Ibrahim, over two and a half million foreigners live and work in Qatar. The wealthy Emirates uses oil and gas money to import workers mainly from Asia and Africa. These immigrants represent 90% of the population. They were the ones who built all the infrastructure for the World Cup, the airport, the metro, the luxury hotels and, of course, the brand new stadiums. <laughs> 